let's start sending you some tokens with Hunter Ledger. First, you need to check that your wallet version is at least 0 0.22 and your ledger version is at least version 1.1. When you're using both these versions with the wallet and ledger app, you can check that any custom token shows a key icon next to its name. This key icon starts a process to trust the token. You need to confirm the symbol, the name of the token, and the unique identifier of the token. So you can either approve or reject. Once approved, the token is now trusted. And this trusted token is allowed to be sent on transactions with your ledger. You can trust tokens if you have balance with them or not. You just need to be registered. Now that a token is trusted, you will see that a check mark appears next to its name. And if you want to untrust the token, you need to go to settings, untrust all tokens on Ledger, and start a similar process to confirm or reject this action, which you can verify that turns all icons to a key icon, meaning that the tokens are no longer trusted. Now, let's try sending some tokens. If the token is untrusted, you will see that the wallet rejects sending the transaction before even reaching Ledger. Now, let's trust this token again. And we can see that we can send transactions with this token. The transaction will be very similar to sending HDR tokens and you can either send custom tokens or a combination of HDR and any other custom tokens. The amount part of the same transaction, you see that it will display HDR 0.1, like expected, and it would show ABC 2. Knowing that this token is an NFT, this is expect expected as well. Now, the transaction can be sent, and And send HCR tokens and any custom tokens we desire.